Happy Friday, St. Francis in the Field. This is Father Justin here with your Friday finale. Before I get to this guy, let me remind you, this Sunday we go back to two services at 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. At 9 o'clock begins our adult confirmation series. That will run until February 19th. Who should come to that? Anybody who wants to be confirmed in the Episcopal Church. So if you were confirmed in the Roman Catholic Church or the uh, Evangelical Church in North America, the ECUS, ELCA, excuse me, ELCA, if you were confirmed in that, you would come to this class as well and you'd be received. If you were confirmed in the Methodist Church, the Presbyterian Church, gosh, even some Baptist churches have a confirmation program, you, you would be confirmed. So basically, if you want to become a full-fledged Episcopalian with all the rights that that means, that means you can serve on the vestry, that means you can serve the diocese, Does, you can be a member of this church and not be confirmed, but I highly recommend you do that, and here's why. Confirmation is about us reaffirming our baptismal vows. So what are we called to do? What does Jesus ask us to do? That's what we learn in baptism. So come to this class. If you've been confirmed and you want to reaffirm your faith, if you want to get confirmed or received into the Episcopal Church, when the bishop comes for a visit, you need to go through this class. You don't just get to come and be confirmed or received by the bishop. So that starts at 9 o'clock, and we're going to start with the great question of what is faith. That is question number one. And this whole series is going to look at the baptismal covenant as a framework for us learning more about who we are at this particular moment in our life. So we got that going on. Uh, the two services, 8 and 10, got that. Now, we did it. We surpassed our record, 462,342. $462,342 $462, with 113 pledging units. Of that, nearly 50 of them are brand new pledges. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is a testament to your love and affection of this church, and you have done wonders. So we are so excited. Now, below this video, there is a link to a YouTube video that will show you how to go to the online Vanco portal through our website to initiate your weekly, monthly, however you want to set it up. You can use a credit card. You can use your checking account. You might be one of those who wants to write a check, but the bottom line is this number's great, but if we don't make an honest effort of achieving the 462, then this is an empty, broken thermometer, and I don't think it's empty or broken, so we need you to be due diligent about that, and if you're somebody like we are, the Yons, we, we start our pledge each year, and it ends December 31st of that year, so we have to go back in, log in. Generally speaking, we increased our pledge, so we will make that adjustment and then continue our monthly withdrawals. And I want you to do the same thing. So there's a detailed video that shows you exactly how to do that below this email, starting at our website and taking you all the way through. If you haven't created a profile, what that looks like. It's a great way to track, track your giving. So check that out and thank you, thank you. Other than that, hopefully I'll see some of you tonight at the Epiphany Bonfire. If you still got your Christmas tree, bring it. We'll light that sucker up as we celebrate Epiphany, have some s'mores and have a good time. Happy New Year. I'm so glad to be with you and Hard to imagine, today, today is 11, my 11-month 11 anniversary with you guys. Right now, this Friday, 11-month anniversary. Still here, still stuck with me. I'm still stuck with you, and I couldn't be happier. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you on Sunday, or tonight.